better late than never. Sure to tell some people that I finally made it. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Hi, you guys. We finally made it. We got stuck in a ton of traffic. Well, I'm waiting for Yobo to come because we need to unlock one of these, but I don't have the right change, so I'm waiting for Yobo to bring one. There he is. But I'm super nervous and scared today because there's a ton of people here, and we only came for you guys. Like, we don't need anything. We just came for the live, and we got stuck in traffic. <laughs> and, like, now there's a ton of people here, so my, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, my, like, I had to take an anxiety med for, of my husband's because my anxiety is through the roof. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> yeah. I want to get to the food area quickly to show them so I can get out of there because it's going to be so busy and I'm going to hate it so much. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Hey, Jean. I'm glad to hear that, honey. See, we're going up the conveyor and it's stuck in place. And you see you, Thank you for being here because we only came for you guys. We don't need anything. I'm, I'm kind of regretting it a little bit. <laughs> this might have been. Oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> so it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> I should do that to you so you don't wander off. Hi, Christine. Oh, I do a lot of things I'm uncomfortable with, but sometimes you gotta go outside your comfort zone, right? <sighs> Josh, come on, me Thank you, Josh. Oh my God, there's so many people. My anxiety. Thanks for being here, you guys. Sorry, I'm turning it because I don't like to. I don't put people on camera. I'm respectful and I don't show people when possible. Art box. Art box. I want to go to Art Box. We're at Home Plus. We're at Home Plus. It's not Costco. But it looks a little like that, doesn't it? Hi, Moni. We finally made it. We thought there was an accident that was stopping traffic, but it ended up just being like a ton of road construction on a bridge. So it stopped traffic forever. So that's why it took so long to start the live. I was worried none of you guys would be here. I'm also worried that there's a lot of people here. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah, we brought our Costco bag. We don't we didn't come here for any shopping. We just came here to show you guys around, but you know how it is. Sometimes you still find something you need. Haru, Kamsanida, thank you for supporting this live. Because it's so not easy today. See, we're at home plus. I'm staying as close to my husband as possible because it helps a lot with my anxiety. <laughs> I got some bras on sale for five dollars. Too bad they're all too small for me. Yeah. yeah, they're cheap, but they definitely don't have my size. And there's a lot of women over there Walmart searching. Brand. Walmart brand. Walmart brand. What? <gasps> what do you mean Walmart brand? How do you? Oh, shut the front door. It is a Walmart brand. We're not at Walmart. We don't have Walmart in Korea, but yes. I do come samida. I want to get away from all these people, Yobo. I feel like my breathing is getting faster because I'm so nervous. <laughs> Sindoro, come I'm going to kill you. No, no, I really will kill you. No, 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 no. No, no I'm going to kill you. Oh, my God. He's dead. He's dead to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He legit, like, oh, my God. What do I do? Like, my knees are shaking. I, I'm going to kill him so much. I'm going to kill him. He left me at the front of the store, which I've always hated being by the front of the store because that's where the most people are. And then he left me next to a million people and ran to the bathroom. He's my comfort blanket. 
Moni, kamsamnida. Andrea, kamsamnida. I'm gonna move over here. I need to move away from these people, from all the people. Because low key, it makes me wanna cry. <laughs> Which is silly. But, um, you know, I, I don't like being stared at. Because I get stared at everywhere I go in Korea and then do a live around a bunch of people. I think I've de I developed anxiety when I moved to Korea because um, I get stared at by everyone when I leave. Anytime I leave my house, I get stared at by everyone in Korea because there's not many foreigners, especially here in Daegu. And so I stand out. Um, and it's, you know, after four years of it, it really starts to affect you. And I don't like it. I mean, I don't do it to be rude. It's just like, oh, there's a foreigner. But I hate it so much. So it gives me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Trish, comes on me now. I I'm going to kill my husband for leaving me. <laughs> he know I don't know why he didn't use the bathroom at home. He knows every time I ask him if he has to go and he says no. <laughs> Just like a child. <laughs> Jen, come on, Nina. Thank you for your tiki talk gift. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> okay, look at the camping stuff. But there's... I may not seem like a lot of people to you, but I just, I, I don't mind doing lives outside where there's no people, you know, less, or there's a bunch of people, but there, I, I feel like there's no walls, so I feel like there's, I have more space away from it. Moni, Moni, come on, me down. thank you for your ticket talk gift, thank you for the suggestion. I need that, actually. <laughs> like, I really, my, my, my heart rate is up. <laughs> uncomfortable. <sighs> Thank you for your tiki talk gifts. We're at Home Plus. But at the height of my anxiety, my husband leaves me <laughs> to go to the bathroom. Christy, and come Thank you for your tiki talk gifts. I'm sorry the live was late, you guys. Like I said, um, we got stuck in heavy traffic. There he is. Oh. Are you scary? Oh, I hate you so much. Are you scary? You're dead to me. Nice. Feel my heart. My heart is racing. Uh, it's pounding so fast because I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I almost want to cry. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like crying. <laughs> he doesn't get it because he's Korean. Oh, Sergi, come on, Nina. Thank you for your tiki talk gift. I told you, Solomon Market is wonderful, isn't it, Carla? I love going there. We love going there for our lives. Pine, Moni, come on, Nida. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I just, I get a lot of anxiety when I'm in um, doing shopping lives um, alone because I get stared at a lot and it just ma makes me so uncomfortable. So I s s cling to my husband like a security blanket on inside lives, but um, I'm trying to recover from him abandoning me to use the bathroom. <laughs> Pine, Moni, Claire, come on, Nida. You did a live yesterday? I didn't see it. Moni, Karen, come on, Nida. Thank you so much for your Tiki Talk gifts. I appreciate it. We only came here to do the live. We didn't, we don't need anything. We just came to show you guys around. Thank you for your tiki talk gift. Oh. Just at... I know, but he's done enough of these lives with me inside to know how I get. That's why he gave me an anxiety, a, a small little anxiety pill that he uses for sleep, that his doctor gives him for sleep. He gave me one to help me kind of chill out because it's, I get very, these, these lives are really hard for me to do. But, ooh, look at that tumbler. That's cool. That reminds me of home. Something about this reminds me of Oregon. Probably because this is this is very Oregon. <laughs> that definitely screams Oregon all over it. Oh yeah, Carla, that's very normal. I mean. Yeah, yeah. With, with a culture where there's a lot of people and there's limited space, you'd be saying, excuse me, like a thousand times. So it's just not something people do in Korea. Carla, come on, Nida. Thank you so much. What motivated me to keep going? Um, you guys. 
the messages I was getting asking if I was doing, you know, what, what, you know, why I wasn't on live. Because you know, that makes me feel good knowing you guys are expecting it and you like it and you're waiting for it. It makes me feel good. So that that always mo- helps motivate me. These are cute. Look at those cute little kids' chopsticks. I mean, some things are expensive. So these are, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff on sale on this aisle. I need a coffee. Oh. Co- coffee. You didn't drink coffee this morning? Yeah. You didn't use the bathroom? You didn't drink coffee? <gasps> Moni, thank you so, so much for the bear with the rose. I really, really appreciate it. We're at Home Plus in Daegu. It's a big shopping mall. I'm going to hold on to my husband so I don't get a... Yeah, well, you just think of 1,000 won equals $1. So, like, this would be about $8.99 US. I mean, it'll be cheaper than that when you check out because of... Can we move, <laughs> You can... Coffee, sure. Oh, you want coffee. Okay, buy some coffee, Yobel. He wants to buy some coffee. Yeah, my husband is in trouble. Carla, thanks for the treasure box. I don't really know what that is. But I super, super appreciate it. I think it's... 30 viewers can collect these points by opening the treasure box. Okay, so I don't know what it is, but you guys can open it, I guess. There's a treasure box. Nina, come on, Nina. Thank you so much for your tiki taka. Pizza iced tea, Jusil. Boxu iced tea, Juan Jusil. It's 1130 right now in Korea on Thursday. See? My husband got coffee and got me an iced tea. I need something to, ch- to chill me to freak out. <laughs> Just, I need to chill out. Yeah, fruit is super expensive. And I'm going to show you. We just got here, so I'm going to show you the produce. Jamie, come sell me that. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Oh, my God. I seriously cannot get my heart to stop pounding. <laughs> I need it to relax. My husband's getting some coffee. I'm getting some iced tea. We're at Home Plus. There's a big sale over by the bras, but none of those bras are me. <gasps> Carla! Yo, bowl. Carla sent a Cash App donation. We gotta sing a song. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Which song? Oh, yeah, we are singing Lord, My Sunshine. Carla, this song is for you. Your hair. Sorry. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Thank you, Carla, for your cash app gift. Oh my God, Tanya did one just now too. Huh? Another person, Tanya. <laughs> oh my God, we gotta sing one for Tanya now. Maybe Sorry, my hair. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Thank, Thank you, Tanya, for your cash app gift. Consolida, <laughs> thank you so much for your for your your, your PayPal and cash app donations. Thank you so much. Oh my god. And thanks for making me sing the song because I did like the silliness did help me a little bit even though it's it you know Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, darling. That was really sweet. That did help me uh, a little bit <laughs> alleviate my He just left me, yo ball. Oh my god, I'm gonna He's on death row today. You you cannot you cannot leave me. My my stress, yo ball, what's wrong with you? Don't worry. Are you crazy? I don't want to turn around and see you not there. Oh, God. we gotta sing a we gotta sing a subscriber song, yo bowl. Oh my God. He's not embarrassed. We do these all the time. Okay, we gotta do a happy, happy tappy team. Happy tappy Happy tappy Wait, happy I forgot team. who was Carla. The happy tappy team. The happy tappy team. team. Thanks, Carla, for joining. The, the happy tappy team. team. Wait, we got it. Oh, I thought we were doing a. <laughs> Thank you for Carla. Thank you for subscribing to the Happy Tappy Team. Thank you for making me sing a song. Claire, come song me down. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Ah, man. Tiba Opso. I'm back. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Lori, come on, Sunita. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. You gotta buy the bread too. 
Oh, I thought that was mine. I was like, what? Thank you. There's an espresso. Huh? <gasps> Moni! Espresso. Oh, well, look, Moni did a money, a money gun. <laughs> Hold on. Espresso, wait. I just want to say a big... Okay, you drink that, and then oh, I want to give... Good. Moni, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your money, guys. Thank you. Come to me, Dad. Thank you so much. And thank you for your Tiki Talk gifts. Moni, thank you so much for the... <laughs> thank you, darling, for your money gun. Cassie, come to me, Dad. Rhonda, come up to me, Dad. It's strong? Well, that's good, right? I don't think I should. Mine, I'm, my heart's already pounding so much right now. <laughs> Rhonda, come to me, Dad. Thank you so much for your Tiki Talk gifts. Thanks for the 12,000 likes, you guys. Thanks for, thanks for your support, you guys, because oh, it's, it's hard for you guys sometimes to understand things if you don't experience them yourself. <laughs> so I appreciate your support. Rhonda, thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Mm. Thanks for the new followers. We do lives around Korea three times a week. Ooh, yeah. look at the waffles. In Korea, waffles are more like a dessert. It's not a breakfast food. Like it is in America, so you see there's like all kinds of um, toppings on them. Sindoro, come on, Nida. Yeah, exactly, Moni. That's why I didn't. I just got my peach iced tea. Hi, New Zealand. Yo, but we got someone from New Zealand. What? New Zealand. New Zealand? No. Yeah. In the chat. They said, Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. <gasps> Donuts. From New Zealand. Cinnamon. Hi, Stacy. Welcome back, Earth. Oh, sushi, you want to see sushi? I need a sip of my iced tea. Relax myself. Hi, Kansas. Carla. Carla, come saw me, dog. Thank you so much for your Tiki Talk gifts. Connecticut. Also, see you Welcome to Daegu, South Korea. We're at Home Plus showing you guys around we we just came here to show you guys we don't really like need anything today we just wanted to take you guys someplace we haven't been in a while for the live we do lives every outside every thursday and usually saturdays also and mondays at home to answer questions yeah fried waffles and chicken together are amazing sushi. <laughs> let's still look at the sushi yeah we're in daegu south korea hi nebraska hi florida Oh, thanks, Tori. I appreciate that. Hi, Trinidad. Yeah, Maggie, we finally made it. <laughs> Sashimi is more popular in Korea to eat, but there is some sushi here at the mart he was looking at. Oh, we got some lots of chicken. This whole thing is different kinds of chicken. Let's go take a look. Hi, UK. Hello, Anyasio. Leah, come saw me now. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gifts. We're, we didn't come to buy anything. We just came to, to show you guys on the live. We didn't come to buy anything. We literally only drove out here uh, and harrowed traffic just for you guys. Ooh, yes, I love pork cutlet. <gasps> Tori, come saw me now. Thank you so much for your Tiki Talk gift. I miss pumpkin spice. We don't really have sp pumpkin spice things here in Korea very much. Susan, come to me, dog. Maybe you can find some in Seoul, but down here in Daegu, no, our Starbucks doesn't have any either. Valerie, this is Daegu, South Korea, and we are at Home Plus today, showing you guys some of the delicious food. <sighs> These look good. This is different kinds of marinated chicken, fried chicken. Yummy. Idaho, Tori, come to me, dog. Thank you so much for your Tiki Talk gifts. And thanks for the new followers. We do lives every every week here in Korea outside. Tori, come saw me now. Ooh, look at that fried chicken. What kind is that? Wow, my soul. We got some we got some baked chicken down here, which I don't see very often. We got lots of different kinds of marinated chicken. Yummy. Hi, Abby. Abby, I'm so glad you're here, darling. Welcome. Also, see you. We got the. Do you guys like bacon? How about the biggest bacon you've ever seen? <laughs> it's some good style, but this looks like it's almost fried. I don't know. Moni, thank you so much for the boxing gloves. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I love seeing things like that with the whole emoji. What a go? Pork belly. Pork belly? Somebody saw it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like gigantic uh, bacon. Thick, huge, thick bacon. <gasps> User just resubscribed. No, but we gotta sing a subscriber song. <laughs> Obi, right here. We got a user. User so resubscribed. Happy tappy ding. The happy tappy ding. Thanks, user, for joining the happy tappy ding. Woohoo, user, thanks for resubscribing. I really, 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 really appreciate you guys, all the subscribers. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, and thanks for using all the emojis. I haven't seen those in a while. My subscriber numbers were down, so I hadn't seen them. Thank you. User, come saw me, dog. Tori, thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Uh, Gina, I've lived here almost four years because I'm married to the cute guy next to me for about four years now. <laughs> Hi, Germany. Okay, let's move away from the people trying to shop. I love, like, I, I squealed when I saw the book. And I used them as skincare for stuff last night. I do, much so. This is banchan. These are all side dishes here in Korea. Yeah, I can make it super cheap. I have made this. Mandura sale. Monjo. User, come on, Mida. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Uchukinchi. I've also made this. Igo to Monjo Mandura sale. I also made this once. And this is really good too. These are all side dishes. Oh, and I love gangnam. This is also good. These are really, really delicious. Mmm. Kat kimchi. Kat kimchi. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of kat kimchi. I have to admit, this is not one of my favorite kimchi's, but I love all the other kimchi's. I don't know why. It's just, um, I don't know what it is, but I'm not a huge fan, fan of it. Honey bear, annyeonghaseyo. It's just um, vegetables that's um, marinated and fermented. So kimchi is, is very, very healthy and super delicious. And there's lots of different kinds of kimchi. Um, this is another type of kimchi. Really, really good. I need a sip of my, of my tea. Oh, those were, those were side dishes of like, um, there was some kimchi there. Usually it's all vegetables. Those over there were all vegetable side dishes. So things like, um, green onion, um, radish, Korean radish, not American radish. That there is a difference. My favorite banchan, probably kimchi. I'm, I, I'm so obsessed with kimchi. I love it so much. And almost all but one kind I, I would eat uh, all day. I've even snacked on mul kimchi at night during a movie. It's so delicious. And it's really good for your stomach. Because I have lupus. So that's really important to me. What do we got here? Everything is very expensive. Yeah, pisa yo. Because they're frozen chopped garlic cubes. Oh, okay. Thanks for the new follows. You brought coffee. <laughs> frozen watermelon. You have your own K drama? No kidding. Oh, frozen watermelon. How much is that? Because watermelon is really expensive in Korea. Uh, yeah. Is it? Which one is that? Yeah, it's seven dollars for a little bag of frozen. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you guys. If you want watermelon in Korea, you should get it at the traditional markets. Do not buy them from the stores because at the stores they're like twenty-five, thirty dollars for small watermelon. Um, but at the traditional markets, you can usually find them cheaper. Oh, there's a lot of people. Move out of the way. Let's see, should we look at the grapes? I do speak Korean. Huh? Uh, no, it's I go in Thousand Island, Tibet, and the um, your farm. farm, yeah, you do have a little small, small farm at our, at our house. So we've got some grapes. These grapes are almost $10. Fruits, produce in Korea is really expensive. This is why grapes are usually given more as a, as a dessert or as a gift. Oh, oh yo, oh, right, Shelly right. just did a donation. We gotta sing a song. Shelly, Shelly just did a donation. Wait, wait, hold on, let me start. You were starting without me. 
You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Thank you, Shelly, for your PayPal gift. Thank you. Come on, Nida. Thank you, Shelly, for your gift. Come on, some Nida. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Quickster. Thank you, Quickster. Yeah, when I give prices, I'm giving the when you so when you're now when you when you pay, it is going to be a little cheaper because of the the conversion changes daily. But when you're shopping, you just the quickest thing to do when you're shopping in Korea is to think 1,000 won equals one U.S. dollar. So it's just easier to think, okay, that's about nine dollars, nine ninety nine U.S. It's going to be cheaper, but that's the quickest way to think of it when you're shopping. Because other no one's going to sit and do math in their head all day while you're trying to shop. You just do a quick 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 view. Um, but yeah, these grapes, um, these are just about 10 US dollars. What'd you say, Yobo? Oh. From Migo. Yeah, Migo. Okay. So yeah, we got some seedless grapes from the US. They're also $10. That's really small. Because they're imported, so I guess that makes sense. User, come saw me, Moni. Thank you for the paper cream. It's not fibro. I wish. But even then, I wouldn't pay $6 for them. Let's see, what do we got over here? Oh, you wanna see, um, oh, so I'm gonna show you the broccoli, cause I, oh, they have cauliflower. I, I haven't seen cauliflower since I moved to Korea. Oh, look at this tiny little thing of cauliflower, it's $4. Oh my God, I, I do not wanna spend $4 for that tiny little thing of cauliflower. Carla, come on. I don't even want to know how much cauliflower is in the U.S. because the last time I was in the U.S. was a few years ago. But that is a small head of cauliflower for four dollars. Even if it was three dollars, or even if it was two dollars, that's still ridiculous. <laughs> but we got one head of broccoli for about three ninety nine. Because again, these are not these are not um, these are more of an imported type of vegetable to Korea, so they're going to be more expensive. When have you guys ever seen bell peppers? Like these, like when have you seen bell peppers cheaper than cauliflower, especially like a quarter of a cauliflower? Yeah, I told you guys, I, I like, I love cauliflower, but um, I would prefer to buy a whole head of cauliflower, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't even see, there is no whole head of cauliflower. There's not even an option to buy a whole head of cauliflower. I mean, a whole head, if I put, if I bought those, I'd have to buy like six of them, I think, or four of them at least to make a head of cauliflower. So to, that'd be like $12 for one head of cauliflower. No thanks. It is 11.50 in the afternoon here in Korea on Thursday. Huh? Oh, those are huge asparagus. They look delicious. Grapes are three or four dollars in Germany. That's not. I mean, that's that's not too bad. Steak cauliflower. What's steak cauliflower? I don't even know what that is. Lori, come on, Nita. How long did it take you to get used to the time difference? Actually, coming from America to Korea, you the jet lag is not very much. But for some reason, going from Korea to America, the jet lag is awful. I don't know why, but it just is. Angel, this is going to be it because it's already almost noon in Korea. I mean, we're, we're going to eat lunch here and we'll take you guys down to the cafeteria and probably show you art box here at the mall too, at, the, at, at Home Plus because, you know, we just kind of came here for you guys. So we'll take you to other places in this mall, but um, I'm not going to like leave Minari. the mall. Minari. Minari. Did you guys see that movie, Minnadi? That's a good movie. It's cut, it's cauliflower that's cut vertical into steaks. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Moni, come on, Nida. Thank you so much for your ticket ticket. Yeah, we don't have Trader Joe's in Korea. <laughs> Moni, come on, Nida. Thank you for your ticket ticket. Oil? Oh, I know this. This is um, nogari. No, no, any? Shani, come on, Nida. Thank you for your ticket gift. Let's make a tea. Oh, make it's for tea. tea? Is it, yeah. For for kamki. 
No, as in next, next very good. Ah, okay. User Becky comes on me down. Like me? Right. <laughs> you okay? I like to hear you, it's okay. I do a lot of talking, because that's my job. Shani, come on me down. Thank you for your tiki talk gift. Oh, peace out. Almost $12. Yeah, someone market, maybe. Yeah, probably someone market. You can get much better prices at someone market. The traditional markets. The tofu, well, there's a lot to choose from. I mean, you can see there's a lot of, all of this, all of this is tofu. So there's a lot of tofu to choose from. But um, it's not very expensive. Like, I buy this one all the time for kimchi jjigae or denjang jjigae. It's only about a buck fifty for, for like two of them or a big block yeah tofu in korea is not very expensive se comes on mida thank you for your tiki talk gift and my subscribers thanks for using all the emojis i need to give you guys new pictures okay buddy 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 oh my god his stomach isn't very good so he has to use the bathroom again so now Do you guys know how much I love you? That <sighs> I am in a place with the mo work that gives me the most anxiety for a TikTok live, and my husband is leaving me for the second time to use the bathroom. <laughs> no, we're not at Costco, we're at Home Plus. Oh my god. Okay, just breathe. Oh, he, my husband always has, he has, you know, just stomach problems sometimes but you know here in Korea we get health free government health checks thorough government health checks every two years so they've, they've done a endoscopy because everyone gets a free endoscopy during your two-year checkup so there's nothing wrong with him um, just you know he's getting older you know sometimes that happens um, I have tried tofu noodles but um, I think I've tried tofu noodles I mean that's pretty common in Korea. I don't know actually Sorry, my anxiety. I'm having a hard time concentrating. Um, I feel okay. I wanted to get some of my favorite denjang now that I'm here, but I don't see the brand of denjang I like. Emma, come on, Nida. Thank you so much for your tiki tuck gift. Where to send you a care package? What are you looking for? Oh, user, you're so sweet. I have a um, my PO boxes. If you click on the hyperlink on my TikTok page, it takes you to my social media and my PO box here in Korea. Um, you could like get an idea of some stuff. I have like an Amazon wish list. You can poke around there and take a look too. But um, oh, like I can't think at the moment. I, you know, I'm just trying to keep my brain uh, and my anxiety down. Let's see, Denjang, Denjang, Denjang. I don't see the brand I like. I tried this brand before for Denjang Jigae, um, and it was okay, but it's not my favorite. I think the one that I really like I get from the local mart near my house. This is Home Plus. This is a big chain. Denjang, it's um, fermented bean paste. And we use it for things like denjang jjigae, which it says right here on the cover, denjang jjigae. Um, but yeah, denjang is, is fermented bean paste that you can use in stews. And it is so delicious. And it is really good for your digestive system too. Do they keep it all refrigerated there? Uh, I don't know. These ones are. I keep mine in the refrigerator once I've opened it, but I maybe, I don't know. I'm just waiting for my husband to come back because um, I'm trying to keep my anxiety down. If you guys are new here, make sure you follow. We do lives around Korea three times a week. Thanks for your support, you guys. Thanks for the 28,000 happy tappy likes. So there's some, I used to get asked about eggs a lot. Um, but eggs in Korea have never been that expensive. Like this is a, a you know, crate of them or whatever for like six dollars. Yeah, well, we use eggs a lot in Korea for like side dishes and also in our um, our ramen. Um, what else? Um, also, we um, make kind of like a fluffy scrambled egg in a very very hot pot. That's super delicious. Yeah, Korean eggs need to be um, refrigerated because they're washed before 
they're put on shelves. So that's also why I made a video a while ago. That's also why in America we put our eggs in the refrigerator is because they're washed. So that's that coating that's on the outside of eggs um, is no is washed away. And that's but in Europe the eggs are not washed before they're put on the shelves. So there's that protective coating is still on the outside of the eggs. So they they. Um, they last longer and they don't need to be refrigerated, but in America and here, and here in Korea, they have to be. Um, thank you for the new follows. Um, do people use makeup less? Heck no, this is the, like the skincare and makeup capital of the world. Not to mention plastic surgery capital of the world. <laughs> Korea is well known for the makeup. Let's see, what do we got over here? We got some more Bantan. God, my anxiety. I keep turning around and seeing so many more people coming in here. <laughs> I just want my husband to come back. Okay, let me focus on something other than my anxiety. Um, how many eggs are in your crate? In this one? Uh, this one is... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, five. One, two, three, four... Thirty-five? Thirty-five eggs? No, I'm not fluent in Korean, but I do speak Korean. But I'm not fluent. <sighs> oh, samjang. This is my favorite sauce to put on meats in Korea. My husband actually makes the best samjang, but you can buy it already made. And it's really delicious. You can put it on your um, your meats. It's kind of just a little and a little added flavoring. Because in Korea, they don't really season their meats before they cook them. Not like in America where we have we, we heavily season our, our meats before we cook them for the, for the flavor. In Korea, they don't season them. So um, often when you go to restaurants, there will be like a little container with like a little um, little bowl, bowl with your own individual amount of like salt. And then like the samjang that I showed you. So you can put it on your own meat before you eat it. And also like oil. Um, like sesame oil you can dip it in so but yeah like I said that's because they have all the on, the on the table for each individual person they have different spices and like the salt and the different um, sauces that you can dip your meat in so you can add your own flavor what you prefer instead of having it already seasoned oh where is he I don't know how much more I can take. Thanks for the new follows, you guys. Thanks for your support. I'm really, really trying to focus because I have a lot of anxiety doing things like this alone in the, in the mall, doing a TikTok live around all the people by myself. It gives me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Puna, come saw me, Thank you so much. No, I'm at Home Plus with my husband here in Daegu, South Korea. We do lives around Korea three times a week. So if you guys are new, make sure you follow because we love showing you guys are all over Korea and all the interesting things. There's some fried tofu that you can buy. If you want some instant delicious kind of fried tofu goodies. Yeah, well, I don't, I never got this way in America. It's just because I get stared at a lot in Korea and then doing a live, people are extra staring at me. It just makes me really, really nervous. I can't help it. Anyway, here's some um, radish, pickled radish. That's another side dish that Koreans really like. Or you can use it in um, kimbap also. Thanks, you guys. I'm doing my best. The finger, it's a finger heart. And you guys can tell how much anxiety I have right now because I do this thing with my, because of my hyperactivity disorder and my anxiety. It's like a calming thing I do with my thumb. So I'm tearing my phone apart right now to help. It's a self-soothing thing. <laughs> it's like because I'm, I'm really <laughs> a lot right now. Grandma, come saw me, da. Thank you for your tiki talk gift. Thanks for the 34,000 happy tappy likes, you guys. There you are. I know, I know you don't feel very good. I'm not angry, but my heart is racing. Like my legs, my legs are wobbly. Sorry. No, I understand, honey. <laughs> but my legs literally are shaking. Oh wait, I forgot, wait, I didn't show the kimchi yet, but I need a sip of my iced tea because I'm, I'm like shaking. <laughs> but I feel like I'm doing a good job. Grandma, come saw me, da. Thank you so much. Well, my husband gets um, 
like a type of anxiety meds for sleep. He's prescribed it for sleep. So he gave me one because it doesn't make me sleepy, but he's hoping maybe it'll help with my anxiety here today. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you all the kimchi. They, there's this whole row of kimchi that you can buy. I'm gonna slow my breathing. Remember, fun. In like the kimchi. Oh my god, we we took some like two years ago when we went to America. We bought some of this to take to my stepfather, and he actually really loved the kimchi. I was surprised. Well, that's you know I said you you know talking to you guys and trying to. It was hard because it's hard to focus when your brain is like spazzing out. Plus, I've got really bad ADHD. <laughs> Oh. oh, thanks, Kate. My favorite kimchi brand. Oh, there's a great one at Costco. What did you say? Our favorite kimchi brand. Yeah, is it? It's at Costco, right? We buy the kimchi box. Yeah. Uh, so. We just saw the pororo. Not here. No, it's not here. But I'm just saying that someone asked what our favorite brand was. Uh, yeah, we usually buy it at Costco. They sell it in a small box, kind of already cut up, which is kind of nice. But kimchi is so delicious, you guys. And kimchi in America is not delicious. Maybe if you buy it, you know, at a rest, like if you get it at a restaurant, maybe that's a, that a native Korean own, you know, owns, and maybe they made it themselves. Then maybe the kimchi would be good. But kimchi in America tastes terrible. And I think it's it's because it's old kimchi, not old like bad kimchi, but we call kimchi that has been fermenting a, a longer time old kimchi. And we usually use it because it's more bitter, but when you cook it, it turns really sweet. So we use it for things like kimchi jjigae. Um, and it's so delicious in that. So um, I'm not sick. I'm not sick at all. I just, you know, have some anxiety because I'm in a, you know how I, you guys, you, if you're long time viewers, you know how I get doing <laughs> lives inside shopping lives inside where there's walls <laughs> with a lot of people it just gives me anxiety grandma come samida thank you so 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 much i have made buchu kimchi uh do we need any do we need any chicken you saw oh we usually get a costco don't we yeah. okay so we're fine no not costco no? so Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Then we, we don't need to buy. Only one. More. Only one. Here is kind of expensive, though, isn't it? Yeah, we have some marinated meats there. Your husband doesn't go shopping because of his anxiety. You know, I I tell my husband he's my security blanket. That's why when I do these lives, he has to stay really close to me, and help talk. You know, help show me things so I can takes a little of the pressure off. Eh? Korean beefs beef stock bones oh make a make a soup for soup yeah corn soup oh uh, kimchi is usually fermented cabbage but it can be many different types of fermented vegetables and some more bean our bones for a soup i don't usually suffer from anxiety it's just in these particular situations so it's a it's a rarity some good stuff. oh Okay. I don't mind going places alone. It's just um, when I'm doing a live in a big place like this, I feel like I can't hide. <laughs> I stand out way more and it just, I don't like it. <laughs> Kimchi is delicious. Kimchi is so delicious. And it's really good for my lupus too. Because I've got lupus if you guys didn't know. Ooh. Korean pork. Korean pork? Yeah. Ah. The samgyeopsal? Oh. Uh, oh, the... How much? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Oh, okay. The, the bag of pork you were asking about over here is ten dollars. Someone was asking. Joanna, come on, Nida. Thank you so much. Yeah, quickly move is not good. Mazayo. Yeah, we can get it at our local mart. That's... We're not, we don't live near this home coast, which is why we don't come here very often. Meat is more of a gift thing in Korea. No, but being invited out to dinner for meat is more, much more common. 
fruit is a dessert in Korea and, and or a gift. It's we small. received a huge thing of grapes for a while, a while ago as a gift. It's small. It's that, that is very small. $20 for that little thing of beef. But it, the marbling is really good, but $20 for this little thing of beef. I don't think so. Yeah, that's why we don't usually buy beef. <laughs> we wait until friends invite us out for beef barbecue. <laughs> we don't buy it very often. Yeah, we're not really buying anything. We've got, we bought, we're gonna buy some bread and I got my peach tea. That's probably all we're gonna buy. My husband's drooling though. What? Oh my God, it's so expensive. This is $23. $23 for that teeny little it. bit. You guys did. Small. This is more small. That one is $33. Shut the front door. That is $33. Back away slowly, Yobel. Just back away. He just left my purse there open. No one's going to steal it or put their hands in my purse, but my purse is wide open. And we just walked away with our backs to it. I talk a lot about how safe Korea is when it comes to that. That was a perfect example of how I've started to become more Korean, I guess. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the 38,000 happy tappy likes, you guys. Yeah, that beef is expensive. Well, being a vegetarian wouldn't help you in Korea either because I just showed how expensive the vegetables are in Korea too. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of cool in Korea. They separate their beef. Like in America, it's pretty much all American beef, so there's no need to put where it came from. But in Korea, there's usually U.S. beef, um, Australian beef and Korean beef and they're always separated and there's like signs to let you know um, Korean, Australian beef is cheaper but I've been told it's not quite as tasty American beef is the next best choice that Koreans like it's it's expensive but it's more affordable expensive does that make sense and then Hanu beef Korean beef is the most expensive that's like a luxury beef <laughs> must be made of gold I know let's take a look at some of the hanu beef oh my god they don't even want to put the prices down I don't even see the prices on the hanu beef at Costco they have the prices but I don't know I don't know how much these ones are but I know that it's gonna be more than I can afford <laughs> thanks for the new follows you guys yeah, beef is expensive everywhere, but it's especially expensive in Korea because it's most of it is imported. The only beef that's not imported is hanu beef, which is also why it's so expensive uh, and the most expensive in Korea because, you know, Korea doesn't have a lot of land. So in the, in the Korean cows are bred to have this perfect marbleization. So it's the most delicious, which is also why it's the most expensive. Sue, kamsamida. Thank you so much for your Tiki Tok gift. You need to get a bank, get a bank loan. No kidding. Sue, come sell me that. So now we got some of my husband's favorite snacks, nogari, which is dried pollock fish. Usually you dip it in like this mayonnaise mixture and drink and have beer with it. It's like a nighttime snack. Who has three businesses? Who are you talking to? I don't own a business. TikTok is my job. This is what I do. My husband and I do tour guide lives on TikTok Live uh, three times a week in South Korea to show you educational things. We take you to traditional villages, markets, um, Costco's. We take you to um, Hapchon movie. Stu we take you to movie studios where K dramas are filmed. Um, all kinds of places. Oh, you'll be leaving Korea on Monday, Angel. Well, I'm glad that you've had a great time while you were here. So these, this fish is, the bigger fish here, the dry fish, this is more for soups. And the smaller ones are used for banchan, the side dishes that I showed you guys earlier. My husband's looking at something, goodies. Thank you for your 39,000 happy tappy likes. Keep your likes coming. Julia, have a wonderful night in Germany. Thanks for being here. 
walked in Korea with us. What are you so? Oh, oh, they're alive? Yeah. They're sleeping. Oh, they are alive. Okay. I don't want to teach English, nor can I, because I don't have a bachelor's degree. Yeah, fish snacks are, there's a lot of delicious fish snacks. We got a little TV show, commercial, it's about the fish. Ding dong. Leontang. Leontang? Like I love Leontang. This, there's a fish soup, this, they use this fish to make this spicy fish soup that I super love. It's so delicious. Leontang, nam wash so. Lots of different kinds of fish. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for the new follows. Little cute fishies. There, none of these fish are alive. There was um, crab back there. Yeah, I don't know how to make mayon tang. I probably have a recipe for it somewhere. Um, but it's one of my favorite fish soups in Korea. It's so delicious. And then these are like fish, these are for, for a soup pack, so you can make your own um, fish soups. Skate fish. Oh my gosh. Smell, smell. <laughs> yeah, skate fish um, is, puts off an ammonia smell because it's fermented and it smells like cat pee, but it doesn't taste like it, but it does smell strongly of it. Thank you so much for your ice lolly. Thank you, thank you for your tiki tak gift. Sashimi, my husband loves his sashimi. Sashimi is just raw fish. Which he loves. I love salmon, but you guys, freaking salmon in Korea is so expensive. I'm originally from Oregon where we can catch salmon for free. <sighs> So, hey, and this is from Norway. These are imported from Norway because we don't really have salmon in the, in the oceans near Korea, so they're not really farm, caught here. But this salmon is $17 for this little salmon. And you guys seen at Costco, when we do lives at Costco, a whole filet of salmon, like a half, a half salmon, is like $50. So salmon in Korea is really expensive. Um, it's usually eaten like as, as sashimi in Korea, so it's eaten raw. Um, but I, ah, I hate how expensive it is. I, I do miss being able to go salmon fishing and get my own for free. Coco, come saw me down. Thank you for your tiki talk gifts. Whoa, those are some big crab. One hundred and thirty-five. One hundred thirty-five dollars for this yeah, crab. Membership price. Oh, that's no, if you have a membership. No membership. Two hundred seventy. $270 for this crab. He's big. Like, I don't think I want to put my hand down there close enough to show you, but that is a big crab. $270. Unless you have a Home Plus membership, then it's $135. Well, do you guys see? When I tell you guys that it's cheaper to eat out in South Korea than it is to go to the Martin Buy Your Own Groceries, you can see that I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> This is why we often eat out in Korea because it is much cheaper for us than cooking at home. How much membership? Hola. We don't. We only come here like four times a year. I feel like we don't come enough to get a membership because the prices here are more expensive. Because this is more of like a um, chain department store mart. Than, than you know a lot of like when we go to the ones near our homes and stuff they're more like the local marts they're usually a little cheaper or the traditional markets are much cheaper but like home plus this is kind of like this is not walmart this is like going to i mean it kind of reminds me of like going to trader joe's on a bigger scale <laughs> everything is overpriced <laughs> yeah it's still expensive with membership those guys are big man thanks for the forty-one thousand happy tappy likes and thanks for the new followers. Like I said, we do lives in Korea three times a week. I'm just waiting for him to look. He's trying to look and see how much. Um, I'm a membership. Oh? Since huh? You have a membership? Shut the front door. Oh my God, Paris! 
sure there's people there. Berries, come on, thank you for the beautiful swan. I loved it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the pretty picture on my screen. Mopsumida, thank you, berries. Connie, have a wonderful night, darling. So we have we we have a Home Plus membership. How did I not know that? It's well, it's, I mean, it's expensive with, but it's a lot. It's still cheaper without. So you can see here with the membership, without membership or whatever. I don't know what this is. Something is twenty nine dollars, but with your membership, it's fourteen ninety. Ayla, come on, Nita. Berries! Berries, come on, Nita. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the money gun. Come on, Nita. Thank you so much. You tickle in my funny bone. Thank you so much. Thank you for the pretty, pretty money gun. Ayla, user, come on, Nita. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the pretty money gun. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, if you have a membership, it's, some things are cheaper. Like, they, they'll have one price that's for a membership and one price that's not. And we've been duped before because we were like, oh, wait, that's... We thought it was on sale, but it wasn't on sale. It was just... Um, but we didn't know we had a membership. <laughs> Nap down, come on, Nita. Thank you so much. Who's going to wrestle that thing for a meal? No problem with loose from Patreon. I know, they're pretty big. Those, those guys are big. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much. Come on, Nita. He's he's checking to see if we have membership. I think he said we do. There's some butter here. Usually, I don't find a lot of butter. And like, if you go to a regular mart, like your local mart near your house here in Korea, um, more of a Korean mart, mart, they won't have um, dairy products because it's not like a staple for Korean food. But it's kind of nice that this one does have some butter. But we bought butter at Costco like a year ago and we still have it because <laughs> we don't have a lot of use for it because Korean food doesn't need butter really and so there's not much for us to use butter for. He's still checking. Okay, while you're checking, I'm going to have a sip of my oh, peach tea now that I got away from the majority of the people. Like they usually huddle around the produce area, so now my anxiety is starting to feel a little better. Yeah, it's probably... Exp I mean, it's been in the freezer the whole time. I feel like there's a good chance it's still good, but I don't know. It might be bad. I might need to buy more. I don't understand. What is this? Yeah, I, I love Korean spicy food. I can't... I couldn't handle any spicy food in America, but when I moved to Korea, now I'm obsessed. I can eat the hotter... The spicier, the better. I got some... Dry, crispy, dried fish snacks. Kimchi is my favorite. Uh, Emart does not, I don't think Emart has a membership, but I'll tell you guys if you're a foreigner coming to Korea, like on vacation or something, and you want to go to Emart, you need to bring cash if you want to go shopping at Emart, or because um, Emart only accepts, they don't accept foreign, foreign cards, even credit cards. And almost everywhere in Korea accepts American credit cards, Visa or MasterCard but occasionally you'll run into a place that doesn't. And a lot of places in Korea don't use American bank cards, but there's a lot of global ATMs, so that's not a problem. You can get money when you get here. But if you want to go shopping at Emar and use your like American credit card to pay, it won't work. So you need to bring American cash, I mean, American cash, you need to bring you know, cash with you to go shopping there. Or if you live here, then you'll just have to use your Korean bank account. I've made that mistake many times because I, I have a Korean bank account. I just never really have much money in it, so I never use it. <laughs> I use it just to pay my cell phone bill every month. <laughs> so I don't use it for shopping like I, I can't on coupon or or e -mart. I use my American card. Hi Gigi, and you see one. Home Plus, yeah, I've, I use my, my card here when I go shopping. Uh, waiting for you, I guess. Look at some of the little fishy snacks. Ooh, it's 12.30. It's getting close to lunchtime. Got some I'm Happy fish snacks. Much so. Delicious. I'm working now, darling. The TikTok is my job. My husband and I do tour guide lives around South Korea three times a week. Pictures for dummies work well for me. Well, if you'll notice, a lot of things in Korea will have... Yeah, no, don't expect Koreans to all speak English. 
because they won't. But a lot of times, like signs will have English and Korean on it, um, which which is helpful. Yeah. So you can you know you can you can get by on vacation here without speaking much Korean. Though you should learn at least a little little thing. Sonia, come Sonia. What does sixty nine eighty mean? That means it's about six dollars and ninety cents U.S. And we got some shrimp, snacky snacks. Sonia, come Sonia. Thank you so much. We got some fish oils. Marcel. I've never actually tried those. Oh, I think I have tried those ones actually. They're not bad. Here's one. Come Sonia. Thank you for your tiki takis. And any dried fish snacks. Koreans really like with beer. That one, that one looks a little spicy. Uh, no, we'll take the live down when we go to the. There's a cafeteria here, so when we go down to get lunch, we'll keep the live going for you guys. I'm still trying to find out if we have a membership. <laughs> My husband's still looking on. That's why we're moving slow. He's still looking on his phone to see if we have a membership to Home Plus so we can get some of the, the better prices on stuff. That we're not really buying anything today. I'm sorry, have membership. <gasps> Hooray, we do have membership. We're not buying anything, but yeah. Oh, I wanted to look for some tea. Remember? Oh, it's over there. Yobo, yep. Ta. Uh, well, I just really realized that we don't have any tea and I'd really like some. They're gonna. Oh my God! Please tell me that's not corn tea. Please tell me that's not corn tea. Oh my nemesis, Elizabeth, come on, If you guys know, you know. Yobo, it's corn. Corn, yeah. Hi, go. Uh, there's not much tea choices here. Oh, I just wanted something like. I don't know. See, that reminds me of home, maybe. Oh, there's some more behind me. There we go. This is more what I was looking for. Just some kind of... Awesome. Yeah, chamomile tea would be great. Yeah, I can read and speak Korean. It's about $5. How many is in here? 20. Okay. Oh, only 20? I mean, that sounds probably right. Let's get some chamomile tea. But also I want some stevia because I like my tea a little sweet. Or honey. Tibe opso. Mother? Honey? Oh, there's honey behind you. Just a small, small one for tea. Okay. God, they're expensive. Just think it's small. The Costco original. Costco. Well, I don't need a big thing of honey. Okay. I just wanted a small one to put in my. Maybe mix the sugar. Oh, subscription. Hold on, we got a subscriber. Oh, Lori. Okay, turn around. Let's sing our song to Lori. We got a subscriber. Someone remind happy, me. Happy Happy Team. Yes. Happy Happy Team. Happy Happy Team. Thanks, Lori, for joining happy, the Happy Happy Team. Thank you for subscribing and joining the Happy Tappy Team. Welcome to the craziness that is the Happy Tappy Team. Welcome, welcome everybody. All, join all of my subscribers. Make sure to welcome them in. Michaela, come on, you know. Thank you for your tiki talk gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to buy a little tea, um, but because um, we don't we don't have any. I have some ginger tea at home, but. Sometimes you just want something calming, but I don't like it bitter. Korean, you know, I want, I need either stevia or honey to put in my tea oval. Well, well, can we just buy a small thing of honey for my tea? Mm, maybe we are uh, old house, so a little honey. Oh, you want to go to the old house and get it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotta save our pennies because we're gonna be taking you guys on a live up to Seoul soon, so we oh, shouldn't be spending unnecessary. Grandma, come on, me now. Thank you for your tiki tacos. Yeah, honey's expensive everywhere. It's not a new concept for honey to be expensive. 
Yeah, I like Earl Grey too, but I was just thinking that something, you know, calming like chamomile would help um, out to relax after like the long lives because I have lupus. And, um, you know, thought it would be helpful. Grandma, kamsamnida. Oh, thank you for reaching our goal. Now I got to set a new goal. I got to set a new goal. Everyone met it already. Let me find another easy, uh, inexpensive one. Oh, I got a new good afternoon, but that's too expensive. What's it? What's another? How about the applause? I wish they'd give me more of these cheap ones, but they, they only want to give the expensive ones. When are we going to Seoul? We're going, I think the, uh, uh, the third, like the 26th, 27th and 28th or something like that. So my daughters or friends are coming to Korea and so we're going to go up and meet up with them for a couple days and show them around and we're going to do a big TikTok live at the King's Palace Secret Garden and help, uh, help them rent some hanboks so you guys can see them wearing traditional Korean clothes too. Tori, run a lose. Brenda, Tori, come me down. Thank you for your TikTok talk gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kino, come me down. Tori, come up me down. Oh, we got some kim, which is, um, you know, seaweed that we actually love. I love snacking on it. It's really good. No, I haven't checked into local beekeepers. <laughs> that's kind of, I'd love to say that's something I would physically do, but I probably wouldn't. <laughs> all the activities that I do every week already drain all my energy because I've got a multitude of autoimmune diseases. So just these activities drain me for the day <laughs> and I'll forget because I have, I have also ADHD and I'm neurodivergent, so I would forget anyway. <laughs> Tiffany, Grandma, come on, Nita, thank you so much. Corn tea, how dare you, William? <laughs> Tanya, Brenda, come on, Nita, thank you for your tiki talk gifts. <laughs> you guys know me too well. Thanks for the 49,000 head. Oh, he disappeared. Yeah, my husband speaks English. I speak Korean. I'm not based. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my God! Did what you see this? that? What is this? Red Oh my God! That was a huge Mom made mirror. The, Mom made the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Red Alus, come see me. Thank you so 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 much for your big mirror. That was gorgeous. I think that's a new one on our TikTok. I have never seen that one. I don't think. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your Tiki Talk gift. Thank you so much for your support. You don't know how much it means to me. No, no, darling. That's not my grandma. It's a grandma. <laughs> oh my God. My heart is pounding. I can't believe someone did that. That was so sweet. Thank you so much. You guys mean the world to me. You guys really support our ability to keep showing you all around Korea and do these activities. Oh my God, my heart. <laughs> shock me all the time user come on Nida. thank you so much for your tiki tongue gift and then well, the nice thing is everyone got a chance to enjoy how pretty that looked it wasn't just me user come on Nida. thank you so much user for your tiki talk gifts my husband loves looking at the seafood mm. i'm not a big seafood person but my husband is because i grew up in in oregon the pacific northwest where we you know we love you know if we eat fish it's like you know cooked fish it's you know Cooked uh, salmon, steelhead, trout. Um, so when I moved to Korea, when my when my friends asked me if I like seafood, I thought that's what they meant. But that's not what they meant. They meant, do you like sashimi? Do you like oysters? Do you like clams? Things like that, which I, I didn't grow up eating, so they're they're not really my 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 most favorite. Joseph, they sent um they sent a what was it a big mirror thing, a pretty mirror bloom, and it was gorgeous. I know. Fishing and uh, I used to love going. Fi my father's a retired firefighter from Oregon, and I grew up fishing with my father and camping all the time, which I love that I can do that still all the time in Korea with my husband. But the type of fish in Korea is is different than the fish that we would catch in, in Oregon, so that was a little bit of an adjustment. Grandma, Grandma, thank you so much for your sibosayo. That was so sweet. Kamsamnida. Um, not really. We just came to here to, for you guys. We didn't come here because we needed to. We just came here to bring you someplace new. Are you sure? Yeah, it's, it's, it's prawns, which I... Prawns are shrimp, right? Easy, I Never really noticed any difference between prawns and shrimp. 
but the prawns may say that there's oh we got a we got a loaf of bread in there we're buying yes that's pretty much it we just came here for you guys so you can see something new in korea this is a kind of a big chain mart in korea called home plus yeah we'll we'll eat lunch here and we'll do the live and show you guys the big cafeteria they have here in this place yeah i don't know what prawns are they're just bigger shrimp American beef. Not very. Expensive. No, it's not. That's, maybe it's like for roast. Yeah. Roast, yeah. roast is not that expensive. This is twenty six dollars. In America, I would spend eight dollars for a roast for beef. <laughs> but it's twenty six dollars, and in Korea, that is pretty. That's pretty cheap. But I'm not going to spend twenty six dollars on that. I don't need. I don't need roast beef. Brenda, come We have a car. The Home Plus is not near our house. Daegu is the third largest city in Korea. There's over two, almost almost two and a half million people in this city. So it, it took us a, it took us an hour to get here because there was traffic. It took a while. Karen, come on, Nita. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift, and thanks for all the new followers, you guys. We do lives around Korea three times a week. So thanks for thanks for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for being here. You would not spend eight dollars for a piece. Oh, really? Well, I see. I mean, it's been four years since I've been, lived in America, so. Pizza. Yeah, let's take or a look at the pizza. pizza. All the pizza that has corn on it. Sure, let's go take a look. <laughs> Grandma, come on, Nita. Kristen, we're doing good. Joseph, this is my job. I do tour guide lives on South uh, in South Korea on TikTok Live for my viewers. Oh, corn dog! Korea makes the best corn dogs. Look at this. Look at this. We have potato cheese corn dogs. Dude, that looks good. But I'm on a diet. That's why I haven't bought any corn dogs in a while. But they always have the best, like, varieties. Kristen, come saw me now. Thank you so much for your tiki tuck gift. My husband's wandering away from me. Yobo, I can't touch you. <laughs> Kristen, come saw me now. You know how I get in the store. I can't help myself. Oh, we got some makdang. If you guys know what makdang is, it's um, it's pork intestine is what it is. I mean, they eat this in America too, I think in the South, but um, I, since I'm from the Pacific Northwest, I didn't grow up eating it, so it's not my favorite. Though if they fry it, then it is good. <laughs> Shannon, come on, Nita. Thank you for your tiki tac gift. Huh? Oh, pizza. Ten, ten freaking dollars for, oh my God. That was ten dollars for that teeny tiny pizza. That can't be right. It is, because that one is also ten dollars. I mean, they have to be kind of small because most Koreans don't have an oven anyway. So I don't know how they cook them. I, we have, a friend gave me a portable one. Oh, look at that. Corn. 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 Oh, there's corn on all these pizzas. Corn. 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 Do you guys see? Corn does not belong on pizza. I'm just saying. I can't stand that there is corn on all the pizza in Korea. <laughs> that is something I really miss from America is good pizza. Cause like we have we have we have Domino's in Korea, we have Pizza Hut, but even them they are made for the Korean palate. So they do like Pizza Hut used to have a really good pepperoni pizza that tasted like the one in America. <sighs> but then they discontinued it. So I'm back to square one. <laughs> I know, and I like corn, but I feel like it's turned into my nemesis in Korea. What about you? Burejige. I like burejige, which is funny because I don't like I don't like spam, but the spam in burejige is pretty good because it almost tastes in the marinated, it almost tastes like hot dogs, but they also put some hot dogs in there, so that's really good too. I love just about all the jjigae's: burejige, kimchi jjigae, danjang jjigae. Kimchi chigae, you name it. I love it. Got some 
soups, uh, wish that, I just wanted to find like a regular hot dog that I could put in my, okay, well, I don't see what I'm looking for. Is that fried egg cheese? Shannon, come find me that. Is it just cheese? Oh, okay, $4. it's only four ninety nine. That's not bad, but I don't have the oven. Uh, it's at the other house. It's like microwave possible? I don't know. Shannon, come saw me though. Koreans don't really eat breakfast. I I have a protein bar every morning because I have lupus and I have to take medicine with with food. Let's check in. My air fryer is too small. I have a small air fryer. In the oven. Yeah. It would, it would take some mushy. I don't know if it's small enough to fit in the oven. Or the microwave, I mean. Shannon, come saw me da. Oven. Yeah, that's all right. No, um, ovens are very uncommon in Korea because Korean food is not baked. So there's no reason for people to have them. Oh, I don't need it, you guys. It's not like, it's not like I'm going to die without getting it. So I'm trying to save my money today anyway. We have to go downstairs and eat in the cafeteria for lunch here soon anyway, so I don't want to buy a bunch of groceries. I mean, we didn't come here to buy anything. We just came here to show you guys around. Ooh, chocolate berry cookies. Oh. Okaya, annyeonghaseyo. Oh, look at these nuts. These sorry, I'm all... They always have such unique flavors of these almonds. Uh, car caramel salted almonds, not bad. Honey butter almonds, not bad. Cookie and cream, not bad. Garlic bread, that's okay. Wasabi onion, didn't we have this? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there you are. You are terrible. Oh my God, you scared me. <gasps> I knew it. I knew I'd get to it. Corn. It's corn. At least they're on the bottom shelf. They don't deserve the attention. <laughs> And we have lots and lots and lots of rice. Thanks for the 56,000 happy tappy likes, you guys. Thanks for the new follows, too. We do lives around Korea three times a week. Thank you for your support. Yeah, there's lots of different kinds of rice. I am not a rice connoisseur, but my husband is very picky about the type of rice. He know, he'll be like, this doesn't taste as good. I'm like, I don't know. All of this is rice also. There's a ton of rice. To me, rice all tastes the same, so I don't know. Stephanie, come saw me da. Karen, come saw me da. I like, like I said, I like corn. It's just become kind of a running joke because in Korea, they put rice in every, I mean, not rice, they put corn in a lot of products that we wouldn't have in America. Um, but I really don't like the flavor of rice or corn on my pizza. And that is something that they're obsessed with. And it's hard for me to get a pizza in a Korea without it. And also, Korean pizza doesn't have a lot of sauce on it. They don't like a lot of marinara sauce. So, I, I do miss American pizza. And before you say just make it yourself at home, one, um, finding the ingredients is, is expensive. Cheese is expensive in Korea. I've never found pizza sauce. Um, spaghetti sauce I can find. Um, flour is expensive. Um, not to mention I have autoimmune diseases, so I don't really have the energy to do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and no oven. <laughs> so it's too much work for me. Shannon, come saw me da. I mean, I'm just being honest. I could lie to you guys and be like, oh yeah, I could totally do that. I'm just being truthful with my autoimmunes. Just doing this live is gonna make me bedridden for the rest of the day. So like I won't even have the energy to do anything after this live. Ooh, actually this looks good. Sweet potato sticks. God damn it. Dollars. Oh, but it's one plus one. So that's buy one, get one. 
Shannon, come sell me that. No, they don't have pizza sauce at Costco. They do have, I mean, they have spaghetti sauce at Costco, but not pizza sauce. Because again, pizza's not something Koreans make at home. It's something that they would like order for takeout, but they don't, they have no ovens. They don't, that's just not something that's really done. It's just not a staple food. Yeah, it is convenient that a lot of times they have it in English and Korean. Yeah. Hi, Paula. I usually buy my cheese at Costco because it's cheaper and I can get the big block cheese. And I can get sharp cheddar cheese at Costco here in Korea. Well, when will you go back to the States? Whenever we have money to. It's pretty much the only, you know, only thing stopping us from visiting. We'll never move back. We don't want to live in America, but for to visit, I would visit as often as I, I could. I just can't afford to. It's not cheap to travel. Let's see. We got any unique sauces we could use? You saw. Too bad you saw. Oh, this is zero calorie. I could use this for my tea yobel. It's, it's, I could use this. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's just stevia. That way I could have some in my tea that I just got. Because of my diet. Yeah, actually, um, Danny, we have, um, we have like, I don't know, there's like 13 or 17 Costco's in Korea. In fact, my city of Daegu, we have two. And we do TikTok lives with them one to two times a month. So you get a chance to see the cool stuff and the cool food and the samples and stuff that they offer at the Costco. We do lives there pretty regularly. Bev, Kamsamnida, thank you for your TikTok gift. Try to catch up on some. Could you do Amazon? Yeah, but I can do Amazon for anything except food. Amazon specifically won't shop, ship any food products to Korea. You can, like my friends, or I've gotten care gifts from viewers in the past that can send them. It's not illegal to send them. It's just Bamboo TikTok, salt. or I mean, Amazon themselves won't ship them. Huh? Bamboo salt. Bamboo salt? That's you, good. You want bamboo salt? Good, healthy. It should be, because it's expensive. <laughs> okay, but this is medicine. Oh, okay, you will. If you say so. <laughs> Beth, come see me, Beth. Thank you for your ticket talk gift. Yeah, he wants some, so I said, all right, fine. Um, I wonder if there's any other American sauces. Like, I got, I still have um, sriracha sauce that I got here on the last time we came here a couple months ago. I haven't used it yet. I just finished up the one I had. Beth, come see me, Beth. Oh, the bamboo salt. My husband um, has a thing about salt. <laughs> so I see, you know. Go to the school. See, that's why. Yeah, I still, Chibaiso. I still have some of that from the last time we came here. I haven't popped it open yet. <gasps> they have the original. The original. I got this generic -y stuff because this was gone forever. But I'm glad to see they have it back. I don't need any yet because I still have the other one that we got. So now I'm glad to see we don't have any shortage of it in Korea. I can get some. Yeah, I just don't need any right now. Oh, Chibeiso? Chibeiso? Ah, I'm not I don't think so. No Frank sauce, no. I've never found Frank sauce here, but we always look. We all, you're so funny, Obel. Oh my gosh. What am I gonna do with you? You know what I would like? Is sometimes I'm just in the mood for a waffle or a pancake, but I don't have a waffle maker and waffles are expensive in Korea too. Or pancakes, but pan, but syrup is expensive in Korea, so I don't buy that either. So I'm, I'm not dying without it. Just every now and then I'm like, oh, that would be nice. I still have shampoo. Like I said, we didn't come here to buy anything. We just came because we haven't been here in a long time and thought you guys might enjoy seeing a new shop for the live instead of just Costco or downtown. 
thought it would take you someplace new that we haven't been to in a few months. You know what? What about Denjang? The good Denjang. The brand I like. Oh, you know, the one we used to get near our house. We have, we have, we have a different brand. I don't like it that much. It's very strong. Yeah, it's a Minchangi SQ. And the Donga Department store are the more healthy. Oh, Creole? Yeah. She uh, have the information. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, who's that? Marwan, come on, my God. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Oh, I'm so glad you're having a good time. Well, that's what I said. We only came here for you guys. We didn't need anything. We just wanted to show you some new stuff. And oh, I'm trying to get around people right now. You know what else I'd really like is some steel oats. Sometimes I miss having like oatmeal with raisins in the breakfast. Which also I don't need, but every now and then I think about, you know what I mean? I don't know what he did, but he got a good smack on the back. <laughs> Listen, I'm a mom of two. One of my daughters has autism. I've, I've been in the mar market before in America where I had to give one of them a good swat on the back. Not the back, on the bottom. I don't judge a mom who has to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't live in Seoul. I live in Daegu. I'm about five hours away from there. Seoul actually has one of my favorite places that I have every intention of going to in a few weeks when we do the TikTok live up in Seoul um, is the original Pancake House. And the original Pancake House originates in Oregon, my home state. So every time we go there, I get teary-eyed. I do cry a little bit because it brings back so many memories. And the restaurant serves the breakfast food exactly the way they do in America, including the sausage. Uh, because Korea sausage is not American sausage. <laughs> not, not by a long shot. So it's the only time I've ever had true American sausage. And I have every intention of going there when we go up to Seoul for the TikTok Live in a few weeks. I'm thrilled out of my mind. I can't wait. This is, um, oh, Brie, this is Home Plus. Ooh, we have some fancy skincare stuff. Between my viewers and um, my first PR box of some skincare stuff in Korea, I feel so fancy. I'm finally learning about some of this stuff. <laughs> Oh, it's one of those, what are they, horned beetles or, or, yeah, what are they called? Candela. Yeah. But what, what's, what's it called? Oh, it's all in Korean. It's not going to have the same translation, but I think it's like some kind of horned beetle. Yeah, this Home Plus has a little area for, like, you can buy a couple of little hamsters. And, oh, they have Sensodyne. I don't have sensitive teeth, but I want to buy some teeth whitener. I did put this one on my Amazon wish list, not because I expect somebody to buy me teeth whitener, but because I get teased a lot about my, 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 my teeth, I want to at least whiten them so I feel more, less self-conscious about my teeth and on my lives. Joanna, come on, Mida. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift. Uh, there's nothing up there. Those ones are... He's hiding. He doesn't really want to come out. Aw. Let's go check out the fish. They, they just don't need a lot of space. Well, I don't know if there's a technical term. We've, I've always called them Japanese fighting fish. It might be a real term for them. But yeah, they don't need a lot of water or space. They're cute. Beta, that's right. They're beta fish. Thank you, you guys. He's camera shy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, they are beta fish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't remember what they were called. That's probably a very old term, but that just shows how old I am. Ugh. Speaking of which, hearing me just get up from the floor also shows how old I am. <laughs> I'm an old woman. Oh, cute. I don't care, though. 
They're little baby turtles. They're teeny tiny. Well, I am 45 with a bunch of autoimmune diseases, so I think that ages me quite a bit. Juanita, come on, Juanita. Thank you for your Tiki Talk gift, darling. Thank you so much for your support of the lives. We, if you guys are new, make sure you follow. We do lives around Korea three times a week and show you all kinds of cool stuff in this country. Gucci. He's, he's not having any of it today. Oh, they're pretty. They're little, though. It's hard to get you guys to be able to see them. They're so tiny. Oh, thank you for sharing the live. Thanks for the 62,000 happy tappy likes, you guys. I really appreciate all the likes. Oh, I want to go over here, Yobel. I wanted to see if they have any... Like, do they have any teeth white, white whitening stuff? I mean, like I said, I, I can get some from Amazon. I just wanted something that maybe, you know, like teeth bleaching stuff. Maybe, probably not, but I just thought I'd look. Whitening solution. Is it, is it like a toothpaste? Yeah. Oh, I wonder, it's not expensive. Maybe I should try. It's only four ninety nine. Two plus one. Please. Anita, come see Anita. Two plus one. Or my own? Pink and salt, Himalayan pink and salt. Do you have? I don't like. I don't want to sell it. You have. Oh. Hmm. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I know, but I, I I can't find peroxide in Korea. I don't really found any, like, even at the pharmacies. I don't know where they get them. Well, all right, I guess I can try it. I mean, it's only four ninety nine, so if it doesn't work, it's not like I wasted a lot of money. I might just, you know, after we go to our, at least after we go up to Seoul for the TikTok Live, I might order the teeth whitening from Amazon but you know I get teeth now that my my TikTok is is getting more popular I'm getting a lot more trolls who are really making me self-conscious about the fact that I you know can't afford braces so they make fun of me more uh, at least if they were whiter maybe I'd feel less self-conscious no. stand over here a second Oh, I usually ignore them, but you know, I'm only human. You know, if you hear it enough in the day, it starts to bother you. Oh, people are the worst on this app. I, I mean, working in medicine, I have a thick skin. <laughs> Living in America and working in various fields of, of medicine, including emergency medicine for 15 years, you get thick skin. But still, when you don't have that guard up and, you know, people just start, like random people just start bashing you all the time, it does start to take a little toll on you. Oh, you guys are really sweet. I'm not looking for sympathy. We all know what the internet's like. And if you're going to have a social media presence, that doesn't mean it's right that everyone who goes on social media to have, you know, to share their life should it have to deal with horrible people. But it is unfortunately a side effect of, of having a platform. It just is. We got some smelly stuff. Smelly smellies, I love this. The only thing is since Korea doesn't use um, clothes dryers, you don't get to smell all of the like dryer sheets that, you know, when you go down the aisle and you smell all the dryer sheets in the laundry area because we don't have clothes dryers, um, you, don't get to, you don't get to smell them. <laughs> I do kind of miss that. Banana white. I don't even know what banana white is. <laughs> I've never had a sponsor. Like 84,000 followers never had a sponsor. But it would be great if I did. Then I could afford to like 
you know, if I had, had more sponsorships and paid sponsorships, then I could afford to use those funds to pay for, like, some more of the travel lives that we do for you guys so we could, like, go farther, explore more things. Um, but, you know, maybe someday. So I'm, I'm holding out. Hi, Sue. Annyeonghaseyo. Towels, cute bathroom stuff. We made it through all the food stuff, so now we're... Karen, come on, Nina. You did, Sue. You missed a lot, but don't worry. We're not ending the live yet. We're, um... Ooh, but I do need the charger for my... Can you help me? The cord is in here, because my, my... It's in there. My um, phone is going to die soon, so i got to plug y'all in. But you got to plug me into my butt. See, I have cords everywhere when I do these lives. It's, it's you know, it's like having a TV broadcast. <laughs> That's what it feels like, because I'm plugged into all kinds of stuff. No, I wish it was like Walmart. It would be a lot cheaper. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of some place between a Target and a Trader Joe's. <laughs> I'm in Daegu, South Korea. Oh, Kentucky, Becky, user, come saw me da. Thank you for your tiki tak gifts. But don't worry, we still have to get lunch because um, it's almost one o'clock. We got a really late start to this live because we got stuck in massive traffic to get here. Yep, I got all plugged in, which also makes me stand out a lot on these lives, but that's how much I love you guys. <laughs> Pop an anxiety pill and do the live. <laughs> Ooh, but we love the camping aisle because you guys know my husband and I love doing t- camping TikTok lives at the ocean sides here in Korea. But what we need is a is a car mattress. Yo, well, that's what we need. I've, I saw one on, on Amazon. But if we want to, we were talking about wanting to do more of the camping lives for you guys in the winter here in Korea, but we cannot do them again without getting a good, like, car camping mattress, not just an air mattress. It has to be one that's made for, like, SUV car camping that has the little sides kind of, you know, chiseled out. Oh, there's that little. Like I said, this is the one that reminds me of Oregon because it has all the outdoor activities and the hiking and mountain stuff, which is exactly what Oregon is. This reminds me so much of Oregon. <laughs> it's adorable. What's he looking at? Well, cord. oh, it's an electric, electric cord box. Oh, that's kind of cute. Sometimes we are camping or hotel. Um, oh, interesting. Wash the dishes. Look at that. Dry sink ball. You can wash your dishes while you're camping. Nikki, come on, Nina. Thank you for your tiki tak gift. And thanks for the new followers. Like I said, we do lives around Korea three times a week. Maya, come on, some Nina. Thank you for your tiki tak gift. Are you anything else you want to see before we get lunch? What else we got here you want to see? Yeah. You want to lunch here? Yeah, we can go lunch in the cafeteria. Maybe check out Art Box before we finish the line. If we have, if I have enough energy, because you know how my energy gets. I'm... Nikki, thank you for the confetti. Come on, Nina. We're at Art Box. Oh, not Art Box. We're at Home Plus in Daegu, South Korea. We don't come here very often um, because it's not near our home, but we, we made the effort to come here today to show you guys around. We have, a, we have a little art box in here that we might go take a look at before we head home, but we're going to eat first. There's a cafeteria in, in this big place. So we'll eat lunch first. Thanks for your 66,000 happy tappy likes too, you guys. I'm letting my husband look at the stuff he wants first because he, you know, he walked, wandered around the food area before with me first. <laughs> so he deserves to look at the camping and car stuff. That's what he wants to do. Hi, Wyoming. Oh, we didn't. We have one of these that a viewer bought us, and we forgot to use it last time. <laughs> we'll use it next time because we we go camping pretty often. User, come on, me And we have these. We showed you guys on our on our TikTok live at the ocean side. We have this also a bigger one though. We do, we love doing car camping in Korea for you guys on lives. It's so much fun, but absolutely. I'm not doing it again until we get a better, we get a mattress. This is very cheap. 
그래요? 야, 캠핑 타임에 아 이런 메디어 샘블리. 네. 와야, 감사합니다. Yeah, it is a little bit like a Fred Meyers. I guess you could say that. Like a big Fred Meyers. Well, some places Fred Meyers are pretty big too. That's some cute house stuff. Mm. Yes, yeah. I'm hungry. They go by all. Oh, but you gotta look at your your plant stuff. <laughs> so my husband's got the teeny little garden on that back back window area. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. It's got a crack. Ooh, the diffuser smell good and the incense smells lovely. Kabani so. Yes, y'all. Yeah, we didn't buy very much. I'll get my card out. Hold on a second, you guys. I have to get my card out so we can pay. I've only got one hand. Hi, Stephanie. $279. Let's see how much. We didn't get a lot of stuff, so it's not going to be expensive today. And then we have to get lunch. I think that's it. Here's my card. $25. I love, I love how you signed. Put my card back. Now we're going to go get some lunch. Hi, Maria. Yeah, it's probably the bamboo salt. Come in, it's bamboo salt. Thanks for the 68,000 happy tappy likes. All right, we're going to head down to the cafeteria now because I need some tobacco. Um, be hungry. Oh, usually when we go down to the cafeteria, I always get tonkasu because I like it. It's fried pork cutlet and it's delicious. Not good for my diet, but don't even care today. Ouch. Today has been a weird day. <laughs> Where is cafeteria? One down? Uh, um, what's the sign say? Yubo. What does that say? Um, you, oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll probably go take a little peek at Art Box before we leave, too. You can, you can, like, if you want to be on standby, then that's fine because we can leave any time after lunch. I want to go to Art Box, but if you get a job, we can go. One of us should be productive today. <laughs> no, I'm hot. No, I'm hungry. Big oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the new follow, you guys. For the lunch. Donkasu. <laughs> Amado donkasu. I always get donkasu here because um, I like it. And it's, and it's easy for me to eat one hand and have the live going mm. when I eat donkasu. Grocho. Grocho. Thank you for the new follows, you guys. We do lives around Korea three times a week, so thank you for your support. Flowers! Oh, it's a cute sweater. That's a cute sweater. That's pretty jewelry. Oh. A Daiso is like a $5 and under store, but art boxes, just like what it sounds, like got different knick-knacky art stuff and I just it's cute it's kind of smaller than the one downtown but I still want to go check it out before we go home 
if my husband doesn't get a door lock job. I wish these clothes fit me because they're so cute. But I'm a monster. Love a new sweater. I mean, I probably could get a boy's sweater, but girl's sweaters would be too short. Beck, come on, Nita. Thank you for your ticket talk gift. Because um, I'm 5'8 with a long torso. So if I was going to get a sweater, it'd have to be a men's sweater. But you know how men's sweaters fit? Unless you get one that's ginormous, the waist size is always a little tight. Because they're not made for women's waists. That's why I usually have to order clothes online to, come, to ship to Korea. From... Beck, come on, Nina. Thank you for your ticket talk gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for your support, you guys. So I want to show you some of this stuff, but there's a lot of people, and I don't like to show people on live. I wouldn't want someone to do it to me, so I try not to do it to anybody else. But there's a Baskin Robbins down here. Baskin Robbins. <laughs> do they have that cake that we got that one time, though? I do want to show. Do they have that cake, remember, that we got with Celine and Ariana? Cube. They do. This is the cube ice cream. We got this once. I made a TikTok video about it like two years ago. We ordered it. The barriers there, that's actually chocolate. That's actually chocolate. Yeah, I ordered from um, Shein, even though it's a terrible company, but it's the only clothes I can order that I can afford and that will ship to Korea inexpensively. So I'm kind of stuck. But I don't support them except for I have to because I, I don't have options. <laughs> I never order from Timu because I've heard too many problems about it. Oh, those are fancy. Yeah, I've made a video a long time ago about it. It's like two years ago when my daughters were here and we ordered it. It's a pretty awesome cake. Or I ice cream. Ice cream cube. <sighs> okay, here's a bunch of the options, you guys. For the This is the cafeteria we're going to eat at. I think I'll just sit over here so I can be inconspicuous. My husband is over there. There's like areas you can um, order your food. Put on me for a second. Okay, I'm gonna leave my purse right here for a second, which is gonna feel really weird, but I'm gonna go back there so I can show you guys. So I'm gonna leave my purse right here to save our seats, and I'm gonna walk away. Just so you can see. Just quickly. They're usually about ten dollars. I, I left my purse, so it's okay. Your fish, fish cutlet or mixed cutlet? Mix. Um, yeah, I'll do mixed cutlet. You want to mix? Yeah, we can share a little of it. Okay. It's eleven dollars. Yeah, so you can see it's about eight, eight dollars, nine dollars, six dollars for a little one. I'm gonna go back to my purse, but just wanted to show you guys quickly. And then here you um, order your food. And see, my purse is right there. Not a soul touched it. And I didn't zip it even, it's open. I'm not saying it's super smart, but there's CCTV everywhere. So people, this it's so common for people to just leave their purse, their wallets on tables to reserve their seats in places like this, in cafes. But there's CCTV cameras everywhere, so you would not get you, there's no purpose in people even thinking about stealing it because you would be caught. So that was a that was a um, demonstration for you guys. Oh, Beth, that's so nice of you to say, darling. Thanks for saying so. Christina, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll take you guys to Art Box here as soon as I'm done with lunch, but I need to eat because it's almost one o'clock in Korea. I'm hungry. No, I wouldn't even leave my purse unzipped on my body in America. I would never. Aw, oh, thank you, Maya. Nobody cares that there's cameras everywhere. Unless you've got something to hide. It's only there to benefit the, the, the public. And that's why South Korea has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. Because even if you do, we don't have extreme punishments for things. We have the same punishments in Korea that we have in America. It's just you can't get away with it. So unless you've got something you want to hide, there's, having cameras everywhere is not an invasion of your privacy. It doesn't, you don't, you don't notice them. It's there to help you and protect you. And I mean, we have CCTV, we have cameras in our cars. Um, to, so if there's accidents, I mean, they're, they're required in, I don't even know, I feel like they're required in Korea, but I think you just get a big discount on your insurance if you have them, so everyone does. Thank you, Yobo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Do you have my card? It's ten. No, I'm picking. Here is number. You're, where's my my card? What card? To pay? Didn't I give you my card? No. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, my card is. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm just double. I'm just double checking because I'm crazy today. Okay, sorry. Tell me, Huh? Okay. Well. Okay, well, you could help me. Thanks for helping. My hands are all full. <laughs> you just walked away and left me to carry everything. <laughs> oh, <sighs> you watched Steve steal at Lowe's the other day. I know. I'm. You, you, America's like gone freaking crazy. Did he just go to the bathroom? Again? He just left again. Didn't say anything to me. He just got up and left. <laughs> My husband's hilarious. Really enjoy your life from Costco trip. Oh, I'm so glad. We like I said, we do that once or twice a month when we need stuff. Today we just came to Home Plus for you guys. We didn't need anything. We just came here to show you around. And thanks for the new followers, you guys. We do these lives around Korea three times a week. So thanks for being here. I live in Montana. If they're caught stealing the rest of the release. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not at the least bit surprised. What is our numbers? <laughs> My eyes are terrible. I don't think our food is up yet. I got bunkasu. I don't know what my husband got for lunch. Any merit to people's fear of Korea regarding the constant military bomb? Not in the slightest. I, I feel like Americans are more worried about it than Koreans are. We don't care two cents. We're fine. Nope. I don't know. You guys are wondering what I'm looking at. There's a, there's a board up there with our numbers on it. But my eyes are kind of bad, so sometimes it's hard for me to see that far. I do. If Mac, if you click on the hyperlink on my TikTok page, it'll take you to all my social media. I have a YouTube channel. I post a lot of the tour guide lives on there. We do we do driving lives on on uh, YouTube as well. Um, I have Instagram, um, and yeah. So. Hi, Australia. Thanks for the new follows, you guys. I have the camera on me right now because we're in a busy cafeteria at the uh, mall here in Korea and I don't like to put people um, on camera without asking when possible because it's, I would hate it if someone does it to me. You guys know how I feel about being stared at. Hi, second chance. I don't know. We're waiting for lunch to show up. I'm waiting. Hi, Australia. Thank you so much for the Courtney. Like I said, every 
time I see the corgi with his little butt dance, it reminds me of my husband and his, I call him, it's his, his, his cutie pants dance. He has a cute little wiggle he does. <laughs> Back user, come on, you don't thank you so much. Nope, Grandma, I keep, all of my certifications and licensing expired. I have, there's zero chance because my health, even if I was in America, I could never work again because of my autoimmune diseases. So I'd have to find another way to trans, uh, to make my social, my social media work in America for not my audience. But we have no interest in going back to America because, um, like, unless there was some re big reason I had to, like, my parents' health got bad or they needed us to help take care of them or something like that. There's no reason I would. Oh, 954. That's, that's you. This food is up. Aw, oh, thanks, Miss Pinky. Actually, I... Even if I wasn't, which I take the compliment, thank you, but um, they stare at me because I'm a foreigner and there's not many foreigners in Daegu. This town, this city has almost two and a half million people and there's just not that many foreigners. Korea is a very homogenous country, so there's just not that many people that aren't Korean that live here. So I just get stared at because people are curious, not because they're trying to be rude. They're just like, oh, look, oh, there's a foreigner. What is she doing? I wonder what she's having. Does she like the food? You know, what's she wearing? You know, just, just a curiosity. And I, you've seen me, I do it to foreigners when I see them too, but I still hate it. <laughs> Hi New Zealand! Hi New Zealand! Um, but yeah, Bubs, I was answering that earlier. No, I would never move back to America unless I had a reason to, because Korea has the best healthcare system. It's one of the safest countries in the world. I have really great friends and family. The food is good. My life's a lot less stressful in Korea, and my health is much better because I get much better care here, so I just don't have any reason to. But, you know, I never never say never. You never know where life will take you. Ooh, what did you get, Yobo? Oyster. Ooh. What's my number? Not, Not yet. yet. Oh, you got oyster? Uh, Ooh. I just don't. Maybe I'll have a little just sip of the broth. No, 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 no. Just like maybe a little sip of the of the broth, because you know I, I don't like oysters, but the the broth smells good. Mmm, mmm, my soul. Yeah, Korean food's not usually spicy, but some things will be spicy. But they'll even they'll usually say it's spicy, or they'll ask you if you don't want it spicy. No, I don't have Korean citizenship, but I don't need it. I have a permanent residency. I have a marriage visa. And I have all the same rights as someone who has a citizenship. And to be honest, I mean, I really don't have any reason to get it. And it wouldn't matter if I've lived here 30 years and I spoke fluent Korean, which I speak Korean, but I'm, I, I'm not fluent. Um, I'll never be seen as a Korean just because of how I look. Why is my table wet? What is on the table? Did I spill the soup? What did I just... It was... What the heck happened? Did I spill the soup while I was eating it? What happened? Why? You were spoon. You were spoon. Oh, it was my fault? Yeah. Spoon. My whole arm is sticky now. I'm an idiot. Probably, uh... Okay. Woohoo! My food is coming! I knew I was eating all my corn. Well, my husband got um, my husband got oysters like stew, which looks really, really, really good. And um, and I got don custom because I love pork cutlet; it's delicious. Um, I don't know, Buzz. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. I mean, legally, yes. Because once you're married for like, I think it's two years or five years or something, it's like permanent even after you're divorced. But I would never divorce him. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. We're, we're, we're stuck together for life. Yes, just, um, like, like traditionally foods aren't sweet, but like snacks are sweet. Things that you wouldn't expect to be sweet would be sweet. Oh, here comes mine. Brenda, come on, Thank you so much. I have a marriage visa. 
I'm married to a Korean, so I get a special. Ooh, look at this. This looks good. Okay, I gotta say my quick prayer over my food. Give me one second. Ooh, okay. So I got half and half. I got half fish, half pork with, um, yep, corn. I guess I don't mind corn. It's just I don't like it on my pizza. And this is what they call a salad, but it's just coleslaw. And some rice. And we got kimchi and pickled radish and um, donkasa sauce. And then sauce for the fried fish. Yeah, that's what it is. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, they are yobo. Now comes the hard part of me eating and talking at the same time. I gotta move my hair though. So my hair doesn't fall on my food while I talk to you guys. <laughs> got those kinds of scales. Thanks for the 71,000 happy tappy likes. And thanks for the new followers. We do these live around Korea three times a week. Once we're done eating, we'll take you guys over to Artbox and show you the, um, you know, what they sell in Artbox because it's so cute. But I need it for, to stop for lunch. Uh, too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did? It's like, I'll show you guys. It's like, yeah, you could have made two. It's almost two servings. You had to take some of the noodles out because there was too many noodles in a soup. <laughs> yeah, kind of. My husband? You must be new here. <laughs> mm, that's a big fat negative. My husband is not strict. He goes along with whatever I suggest. We're two happy peas in a pod. No. No. He does TikTok lives with me twice a week. It's his ideas a lot of times where we go. He's not strict. I wouldn't have married him if he was. No jam. Any San Rio in art box? Maybe. I'll go take a look. They're all, this one here is a little smaller than the art box I usually take you guys to on live in downtown Daegu. Um, but I'll show you. Yeah, AJ, we're not a normal couple. I think that international marriages would be hard, especially for younger people. But we are literally as perfect as two imperfect people can be together. We have a, so much of the same interests but we're different enough to keep you know the, the spice going we never fight we have no need to we if we have a disagreement then we go to, we have the same views on that it's not about who's right it's about solving the problem so and we often joke that he's almost american and i'm almost korean Meaning that we're both so open-minded to each other's cultures that we make we make it work without any problems. I'm not almost uh, American. Yes, you are. You know what they are? Kojimar. Can that speak English? Koi Yongomar. Koi Yongu. Miguk Saramio. I can't. Yeah. Son. Son. Koi Hanguk Saramio. Hey Jupiter, come song me now. Thank you for your lucky rabbit. Yeah, uh, you'll see that my um, longtime viewers were giggling, not at you, but at the the this because yeah, they're just they know my husband is. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're not a normal couple, and that's what makes us work great. I actually have a pinned TikTok video on how we met, actually. Mm-hmm. Don't much soil. I 
behind. I'm eating my kimchi. Kimchi, 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 chi. There's some kimchi. Super delicious. Oh, Kalisa's young home. You're the sweetest. Sweet what? Good man. Thank you. <laughs> he's serving his noodles and he's like, oh, thank you. Juanito, come some Lunch, I think, was about $20. I like tomato vinegar sauce, the the doncasa sauce, the pork cutlet sauce. Doesn't taste vinegary, but I don't know. Mm. We usually just buy it in Korea. We don't make it. You can buy doncasa sauce like everywhere. Oh, kimchi. Oh, the kimchi. No, kimchi is um is fermented cabbage. Uh, I've made it once with my friends like two years ago, but she already got all the sauces and the inside stuff and all I had to do was stuff it and rub it with some salt and then put it in the container. So I don't really know the whole... Like you can watch TikTok videos on how they make it. Did Jupiter come to me, dog? Thank you for your TV talk, yeah. We've been married for four years. This December will be our fourth wedding anniversary. I have no idea what we're gonna do for usually on our anniversaries we try to make it like a big TikTok live event so you because when we travel far we want to make sure you guys gotta take take advantage of it too and then the rest of the time we spend for our hunting part our anniversary but I don't know what we're doing yet Yeah, he got oyster noodle soup. Yeah, our anniversary is coming up very quickly. Sorry, I'm not very great. I'm not very graceful when I eat my lunch on TikTok Live. I'm the worst. Um, <laughs> I'm the worst mukbanger on the planet. <laughs> Thanks for your 73,000 happy tuppy likes. Keep the likes coming, you guys. We're gonna take you over to Artbox before we leave too and show you some of the cute stuff in there at this mall before we end the live. So keep all your happy tappies and your TikTok you like stuff's coming so we know that you want us to do that for you. Please have a wonderful night, darling. Thank you so much. Mm. I have two adult daughters that live in America. One is married, and my husband has one adult son that lives here in Korea. But we have no children together because we're old, and we don't wanna. We get to enjoy being silly and traveling and not having to deal with children. Mm. I, I'm eating donkasu fried pork cutlet and with some rice and my husband ate a um, um, oyster soup, noodle soup. That was really good. But his is already finished. I eat a little slower because I'm talking on live and eating at the same time. Yeah, I'm 45 years old. I'm no spring chicken. I'm 45. There won't be leftovers. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> and no. They don't have doggy bags here. One time we needed a doggy bag, so we got this huge Don Casa. And they gave us a little garbage bag to put our leftovers in. But don't worry, because Korea does not have... Korea has a really low percentage of food waste versus America. Even though people always ask about the fact there's always like side dishes and stuff people don't eat. But it all gets composted and used as fertilizer for the farmers here in Korea. So Korea has a really low uh, waste. Oh, thank you, Pink. Oh, Liv Shin. 
Where in Korea do they live? Like what major city? If they live in a rural village and you don't want to say the name, you don't have to. I was just thinking if they live in a big area or near a big area, you feel comfortable saying. You guys, and I absolutely love that we have viewers of all ages in all countries. It's really fun to get to know more about other people's cultures, even while we're sharing ours. I'm not gonna be able to eat all that rice. Yeah, four years this December. Can you believe how fast it's been? And I've been on TikTok two, two of those years, so time has gone by. So I'm trying to quickly finish eat, eating so we can take you guys to Art Box and I can go home and rest. No, I've only visited the U.S. once since moving to Korea because I just don't have enough money to travel. In my hand, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna do something that's gonna make you guys laugh. I'm gonna eat the corn. <laughs> I ate the corn. I told you guys I don't hate corn. I just hate that Korea uses it obsessively and everything. But I ate the corn. Oh, I forgot. I got me to do that. I also have to upload the, um, I think there's even a Somu Market or there's another one that I'm behind on. I need, I have like two TikTok lives I need to upload to YouTube for you guys to catch up on. Mmm, actually, coleslaw is pretty good. Oh, Angel, well, you're here now. So that's good. You're still showing your support and helping, you know, helping to, you know, push the live out to more people and talking and engaging and watching the videos and all the things that they say is supposed to help. Oh. It is actually easier to eat the coleslaw with chopsticks, but I'm not going to do it. I ate everything, but I didn't eat all my rice. I only ate a little rice. I'm on a diet, and I just don't need that much rice anyway. They give you a lot. Mm. Finish? Yeah. so. I'm going to You guys didn't know when you start eating your food that someone else purchased, you say chama kasanida means I will eat well. Kind of like thanking you for the food. Oh, And when you're finished, you say chamugosumida, meaning I ate well. Again, kind of thank you for buying me the food. So you say something when you start eating with your friends or your family, you know. I mean, you don't usually have to say with your family because you know, like your husband, because you share, you know, your, his money's my money, my money's my money. <laughs> but um, when you're with friends and stuff like that, I just do it out of habit. I say that I have it with my husband because then it becomes a natural habit when I'm with other people. Yeah, no, I didn't get a haircut, but I would need one. And I was actually thinking that um, I want to get a trim before winter. Um, and you guys loved when I do the TikTok lives at the um, hair salon. So that might be something I'll do again if you guys are interested in that. She's always game for it. Like, it doesn't mind. My hairstylist doesn't care if I do lives when she... You know, I mean, it's, it's free advertising for her salon, so she doesn't care. <laughs> but you guys always seem interested in watching while she cuts my hair. She is a sweetheart. Oh, Angel, I ate donkasa, which is fried pork cutlet with also some fried fish cutlet. And my husband had um, like an oyster noodle soup. 
Shall we go over to Art Box for quickly before we leave? Okay. Mm. All right, let me. Okay, here we go. We're gonna leave the cafeteria now. Oh, suddenly I'm feeling very tired. I'm like standing made my legs tired. Okay. If you guys want, we'll take you over to Art Box. Shoes, sparkle shoes for the little kiddos. Oh, isn't this like the coat you wanted? No, it was no. more warm. It was more this. warm. Or my own? <gasps> Sorry, honey, you're just going to be cold this winter. That was four hundred and fifty dollars. Who was cold? Yeah, we are definitely in the wrong part of the store. We're the, we're the like, um, clearance discount rack kind of people. <gasps> what is that? Look at that cute sweater. Oh, it looks so fuzzy. Top 10. I love sweaters. Sweaters and socks are my comfort clothes. I absolutely love sweaters and, and socks. That coat was crazy. Fifty percent off sale. Can you guys see the sparkle times? They're so pretty. He always walks too fast. I don't get a chance to show you. It is 1.30 in the afternoon on Thursday in Korea. Hi Johnny. Hi, Arizona. I have no idea. The post office. <laughs> if you want to ship something from Busan to the U.S., just go to the post office. Yeah, top 10. That's cute stuff. This is where you got one of your undershirts, isn't it? Hi, Washington State. My, my youngest daughter lives in Washington. Her and her roommates live in Washington State. We're all originally from Oregon, but when I moved to Korea, my oldest, or my youngest daughter, um, because she's, uh, she's autistic, she uh, rents a room from some friends of ours for her own independence. And my other daughter's married and lives in D.C. Hi, Spokane! When I was a paramedic back in the day, I used to do non some non-emergent transfers from one hospital to another. I'd volunteer to go from Portland to Spokane because it was a nice, fun, easy, all day, one patient kind of day. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, Ooh, there's an outlet. 50% off. Oh, what do they got over there? little outlet store and here's our box yeah I'm working right now my job is social media I do tour guide lives in Korea three times a week to show you guys cool interesting places in Korea there's my husband we're at art box I'll take you guys inside I'm gonna be so tempted to buy stuff will you come in with me or are you just resting He's not, he's just resting. <gasps> oh! These are so, my bear diary. How cute is that? Oh my god, I'm always so obsessed with our box. And this is a smaller one, but it's super cute. <laughs> All the cute umbrellas. <gasps> I'm obsessed with mugs and cups. Those are cute. That matches the coffee cup you guys got at the other art box for my husband. 
that you bought for him. So cute. Some toys. Oh, I love these. I've been wanting to buy some sometime because I love doing like junk journaling. And I've been wanting to get one of these. Every time I was looking online, they were kind of expensive, but I want like the whole setup. Which I don't see here. That's all right. This one's kind of smaller. Toys. I'd love to get a fun new puzzle for me and my husband too. Some more BTS stuff for you BTS lovers. Oh, there's some big puzzles. You guys know my husband and I love doing puzzles for date night, but these are more like, they're big puzzles, but they're more kitty style. We, I, we like the pretty pictures with the landscapes. Candy area. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get the BTS puzzle. <laughs> I'll let you guys come to Korea and get one. Keep your money safe. Cute safe. We're at, yeah, we're at Arbucks. We just finished our lunch. <gasps> Cat Moonlight. How cute is that? That is so cute. <gasps> Pokemon. Oh my god, these smell so good. These are cute air fresheners. Look at how the sparkly air fresheners for your car. 25 bucks. I'm not gonna buy one, but man, it is super cute. Sparkle, you guys know me and the sparkles. I love me. Yeah, the my melody. Thank you for the 82,000 happy tappy likes. Let's try to get to 100,000 likes before the live ends today. Ooh, Ryan, my favorite. I love Ryan. He's my favorite. Everyone knows that. You guys all know that. <laughs> Got some miscellaneous toys over here. What are these? Are these more of the painting things? I don't. Oh, cube painting? Uh, what's cube painting? What is? I wanted like the sparkle ones. That's cool. The ones that the bigger art box has like a huge selection. Stickers, yeah, this is art box. Oh, the cute stickers. I'm obsessed with stickers. back here I'll start back here oh my god there's more yeah I like uh, the diamond art yeah I wanted I want to do the diamond art but I need to finish my painting that I got here at art box first and then I'm gonna go back to the downtown art box because they have a much bigger selection on the on the diamond paintings I really 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 want to do one I really really want to do one <laughs> Yeah, they're really cute. Oh my god, I want, what do they got over here that I'm gonna want? I shouldn't spend my money on, but I can see myself doing it anyway. <gasps> Sparkle stickers. Yeah, well, that's why I want to do it because, um, you know, with my ADHD not well controlled in Korea, I have a lot of hyperactivity and I need and multiple projects in order to um, kind of keep my keep it in check because I only get Ritalin in Korea because Adderall is illegal which is, it doesn't work very well for me um, so I have to keep continuing to use alternative methods to also help kind of help you know what I mean <laughs> so our projects help a lot we don't have Hobby Lobby <laughs> I wish but Korea does not have Hobby Lobby 
Oh, those are so cute. Oh, I love this place so much. They have the cutest stuff. One thing you guys are going to notice is that Korea doesn't have very many cars. Yeah, I'm gonna go home after this. I'm really, really tired. This kind of stuff wears me out to death. Those are cute. I can do a driving live on YouTube on the way home. I mean, it won't be particularly interesting. It'll probably be highway driving, but I mean, you'll get to see the city and stuff. Um, that's probably what I'll do. And the, my husband, he's sitting over there by the big, um, the big animals. I'll show you. I'm gonna go back over there in a second. Oh, they're so cute! For your tablets and your and your uh, laptops. Aren't those cute? Alright, you guys. Oh my god. Who needs that? <laughs> That's so cute. Alright. I'm pretty worn out now. They do have cute booties for your house. House slippers or bathroom slippers. You going there? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. My poor body. 
Yeah, I got the lupus. No, I didn't pick up. There wasn't as many options for the puzzles here. They were more like, you know, fun kid kind of puzzles. I want to get one with a pretty picture on it. We like pretty land. My husband likes pictures with people in them, like the landscapey kind of pretty art pictures with people in them and stuff. They don't have those kind. Yeah, we when we when we do our TikTok lives downtown for you guys and go shopping at the art box there, it's much bigger. And yes, we do buy stuff on the live dome at that one. It's hard not to. <laughs> There's an olive young in here too, but I don't need any skincare stuff. Unless someone sends me something, but I don't need to buy buy. Like I'm not missing something right now. I need to I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is done. Oh, I could put some puzzles on Amazon wish list. Nobody use hasn't people don't haven't used my Amazon wish list in like almost a year, so I kind of just forgot about it. I have recently added some more stuff to it. Um, but yeah, I could add some puzzles to it. Why not? You're welcome, Angel and Sidoro. You guys are always welcome. Honestly, it's because you guys are, you know, always like if the live doesn't start on time and you send me messages, it's not annoying to me. It's actually kind of reassuring <laughs> because then I'm like, oh, people actually are looking forward to this live. So that really helps motivate me some days, you know, when I don't necessarily have the motivation to do what I would want to. You guys really help me out a lot. Da -da -da -da. Hi, Hadia. I loved your um, TikTok video that I saw today. Maybe it was a story, I don't know, but you were doing a sassy walk, and I loved it. I'm not sure if that's a good descriptor. Let's get out of the way. We're like walking, right? These people want to walk past us. Hold on, I'll show some of the cool blanket stuff for a second. I wanted to let them walk by. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I was like, I don't know if that's a good description, but I feel like that's like the good, you know, girl power sassy walk. I liked it. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> we all need to do that kind of sassy walk. <laughs> I know the blankets in Korea are so lovely. I love the quilts in Korea. They're beautiful. They're warm and cuddly. And with, you know, when you got autoimmune diseases, you want, like, that's why I like socks and sweaters because it, my skin can be very sensitive sometimes from pain. And so I like stuff that it feels comforting on my skin when I'm, when I'm not feeling good or I don't want to flare. You know what I mean? Are there any other cosmetic places that are cheaper than Olive Young? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I got, I like Nature Republic, but I feel like Nature Republic is more, I don't know. They're both good. There's there's so many, but I don't get to shop at a lot of them because I'm, I'm such a novice that I always feel, you guys saw one time I went into Olive Young in downtown Daegu because I was looking for some salicylic acid and I got so overwhelmed and so nervous that I went in, didn't see what I wanted and I just bolted. <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't know why. There's no reason for it. I'm a grown woman. I'm 45 years old. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you just got a rash, irrational anxiety over stupid things. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but yeah, we're about, we're heading into the car now. And I'll, I'll do, if you guys are new here, make sure you follow my YouTube channel too because I do driving lives on it a lot after the TikTok lives. And I'll also post a lot of the TikTok lives that we do at like, uh, you know, the big, like the traditional markets and villages and things, that, the big events that you guys might miss. Um, and I, I gotta do that today because I there's like two of them I gotta post that I've been at, getting asked a couple times about and I'm glad you guys nagged me about it. Otherwise, I won't think anyone's interested because they don't get a lot of views. But I think the people who do watch them are the ones who really wanted to watch them. So it's good. Does that make any sense? Um, we, ha we both have adult children, but none together. Is it okay if I do a driving live on the way home? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, you guys, so if you want to see the driving live, make sure you go follow on YouTube now and we'll get set up over there so you can see the, the car and you can chat with us a little bit in the car on our way back into the main part of Daegu um, and just see the city and the... Yeah, I'm from America. I'm from Oregon, but I live in Korea because I'm married to the Korean next to me. All right, you guys, I'm, I'm beat, but, you know, thank you so much for your support on this live today. You guys really made it worth all the challenge that it was to get this live started today. <laughs> Oh, Scorchy, come Samnida. Thank you so much for supporting the live, darling. I really appreciate it. Come Samnida. Okay, so if you guys Thank want, you, you can go over to YouTube and watch us now over there. We'll give you a little, you can see what, what we see from the car. So you guys have a fabulous one, and I hope to see you all soon. Annyeong. Bye-bye. See you very soon. Bye-bye.